so <clears throat> there is always this this race between the carbon dioxide and oxygen concentration if the carbon dioxide concentration is way more than the oxygen concentration then there is very less chance that the rubisco will fix oxygen right but if the oxygen is more than co2 then there is a problem but in real world we know the co2 is more so this plant get this natural advantage of fixing c carbon from co2 not oxygen so as i mentioned that it fixes co2 and o2 enzymes in kelvin cycle the first step we have seen most abundant protein on earth 20% 25% of the total leaf protein is rubisco so we extract the leaf proteins 25% of the whole protein will be rubisco and consider all the leaves that are available in the world so that is rubisco so that is the most abundant protein on earth and involved in the very first step this is ribulose 1 5 bisphosphate c 1 2 3 4 5 carbon okay 1 and 5 these are the two position where the phosphates are added so we call it bis phosphate and remember one thing bis and di we use these two terms like bis phosphate di phosphate tris phosphate tri phosphate the difference is the bis is used when the phosphate groups locations are different di when phosphates are attached with themselves self attachment so if two phosphates are attached like this this is di phosphate but once they are present in separate location bis phosphate okay similar to tri phosphate and tris phosphate and here comes the co2 water obviously is needed in this case and then splitting of this one carbon attachment there and splitting so two molecules of glyceraldehyde c this is two this is one so glyceraldehyde c phosphate okay this are the normal this is the normal reaction that the rubisco should be involved with while rubisco fixes carbon from co2 but now when rubisco is doing oxygenase activity then what will happen see this is where we will see carbon carboxylase activity this is we will see oxygenase activity separately we know about the carboxylase activity co2 is fixed water is needed splits into c phosphoglycerate or phosphoglyceric acid two such molecule will be produced normal this process is simple we know that this is desired right <clears throat> but if rubisco oxygenase activity is triggered oxygen will be attached and the it will split again split into because there is no extra carbon added five carbon so we have one two three carbon here and two carbon here okay this two carbon molecule is known as phosphoglycolate phosphoglycolate this phosphoglycolate once the phosphate is cleaved out known as glycolate co group and ch2oh that is glycolate and one c phosphoglycerate will be produced so this one c phosphoglycerate can lead to kelvin cycle no issue but this two carbons are wasted right two carbons are wasted this two carbons will produce glycolate so after every single round rubisco is active fixing oxygen two carbon molecules are wastage right and extra energy is wastage which we'll see later when because at this moment there is no extra energy but to change glycolate into a metabolite which is involved in the process of photosynthesis later on requires further steps requires energy but there is a straight ahead loss of two carbon and we know six carbon produces one sugar so one third of the carbon is lost here so this is definitely not desired and we call it photo respiration when rubisco fixes oxygen but not co2 it is known as photo respiration it loses half of the carbon as co2 cause 2.5 extra atp and takes up oxygen from the environment all are bad for us the plant is not being able to produce the enough amount of food because of loss of carbon and is utilizing oxygen which we supposed to utilize not plants they don't need it but they are utilizing it so photo respiration also known as the oxidative photosynthetic carbon cycle name of the same thing photo respiration is also known as the oxidative photosynthetic carbon cycle or c2 photosynthesis why because the intermediate the stable intermediate that is produced is a glycolate which is of two carbon molecule in other case we need c phosphoglycerate which is of three carbon molecules so we call it c3 photosynthesis 
and this process is a plant metabolism which attempts to reduce the consequence of wasteful oxygen or oxygenation reaction by the enzyme Rubisco or the process that leads to only one 3 PGA being produced in the dark reaction of chloroplast. Okay, that is photorespiration. Why you call respiration? Because utilization of oxygen. That's why we are naming it respiration. But actually, it's not a respiration process. Plants also involved in the process of for respiration even. That's a electron transport chain for respiration is also there because plants also utilize them. But that's a separate deal. This is a wastage of oxygen, wastage of carbon, wastage of energy. This process only occurs in the presence of light. Occurs one out of four reactions under today's atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration. And it also increases with temperature. Why? Because the more the temperature, the more the demand for water and supply to the plant cell. And also in higher temperature, it, this process of oxygen utilization increases. So, occurs in light, occurs higher in higher temperature and occurs one out of every four reactions that are occurring in the plant right now in this current world scenario of CO2 concentration around the globe. Now, uh, we know it's bad. So, how to fix it? It's bad for the plants. So, obviously bad for us. How to fix it? How plants fix it? Now, plant fix it via separate pathway. It's a complicated steps of pathway. We know the process of photosynthesis takes place where in the chloroplast? Only in chloroplast. It does not involve any other place of the plant. But to fix the glycolate that it produces, glyxylate that is glycolate involved in phosphoglycolate that they produce, they need to take that through peroxisome, take that through mitochondria to fix that error. So to fix that error, two more organelles need to be involved. One is peroxisome, another one is mitochondria. So see what happens, phosphoglycolate produced because of oxygen fixation by Rubisco enzyme. Now this phosphoglycolate is converted to glycolate in the very first reaction that is also done in the chloroplast stroma and this glycolate is transferred into peroxisome. Now it comes reaction number 2 and 3 where the glycolate is converted to glyoxylate, another molecule of oxygen is used and oxygen is reduced to hydrogen peroxide which is toxic and you know hydrogen peroxide is present in the peroxisome that's why it's done in peroxisome glyxylate converted to glycine by converting glutamate into alpha ketoglutarate okay and this peroxide that is produced catalase can break it into water and oxygen later on that can only be done in the peroxisome peroxisome is equipped to handle hydrogen peroxide no other part of the cell is equipped to handle hydrogen peroxide. It will cause damage to them. That's why they need to shift the glycolate into the hydrogen per, uh, I mean peroxisome to continue the process. And then this glycine is transferred into the mitochondria. The glycine is then oxidized to serine, reducing NAD into NADH. Okay? That is reaction number 4. And in this process of conversion of glycine to serine, CO2 is also produced. Ammonia is also produced. Okay. Deamination and production of CO2. The CO2 that is produced, it's now released. One carbon is extra now released. So two carbon loss earlier was there, one carbon is released. Now this serine is transferred back to the peroxisome. Now there will be reaction number 5 and 6. Where glyoxylate convert into glycine and one proton. Serine is converted to hydroxypyruvate. Now hydroxypyruvate is reduced to glycerate. NADH oxidizes itself to NAD+. The glycerate transferred back to stroma of the chloroplast. The glycerate once phosphate is attached to 3 then C phosphoglycerate is produced. So remember the single step where carbon fixation leads to the production, two step, leads to the production of 3 phosphoglycerate. Single step basically. That single step requires how many steps? Six steps. Seven steps. The seventh step was the conversion of glycerate into the 3 phosphoglycerate. 
वन स्टेप प्रोसेस वर देयर इफ सीओ टू इज फिक्स बाय रुबिस्को बट सेवन स्टेप प्रोसेस आर इन्वॉल्व इन्वॉल्विंग पैरोक्सिजोम इन्वॉल्विंग माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया टू प्रोड्यूस द सेम सी फॉस्फोग्लिसराइड एंड यू सी इन दिस प्रोसेस दे आर इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ एटीपी इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ एनएडीएच राइट ऑक्सीजन इन्वॉल्वमेंट सो देयर इज लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी इन्वॉल्वमेंट in this whole process that's a bad thing you know but still plant fix it like this